Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be yet another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video. I've been on a roll with these, and I actually really enjoy doing these. So if you have any weird combos for some meta decks or less than meta decks that are, you know, kind of interesting and, you know, kind of extensive and also are just, like, not very specific combos, like maybe one or two card combos um, that aren't too specific for really cool decks, then definitely send them to the email address that is linked in the description down below, and I would love to credit you and just have more cool combo videos going up for this channel. But this is going to be another Zodiac combo tutorial for the post-maximum crisis capabilities of this deck. Now, this is going to be a little bit more of an extenuous one. Uh, this one is another Terra Top combo, but this one involves Terra Top, Instant Fusion as your openers. But then, your third card that needs to be in your hand has to be one of any of these four cards. It has to be either Barrage, Whiptail, or Rat Tenki. Now, Rat gives you the best result because Rat lets you get five draws out of this instead of four. Uh, because you'll, if you have Tinky, you'll just Tinky for the Rat, because that's the better result. Uh, but if you have Barrage or Whiptail, this combo is still possible, but it's only 4 draws instead of 5. But what this combo does is it utilizes Terra Top Instant Fusion, plus any one of these 4 additional cards, to get you a field of, Nat of Naturia Beast, Dryden, King of the Feralimps, and a Digusto Emerald, with, like I said, 4 to 5 draws, depending on what you open. So I'm going to show you each one, because the only difference is the, really the start. Uh, but I'm going to show you the one with Whiptail just because it is the lesser uh, drawing counterpart of the combo uh, that we're going to be doing. But so yeah, if you, if you have Whiptail, you just have Whiptail. If you have Barrage, then you just Barrage into the Whiptail. So it's pretty pretty self-exclamatory. For, for all sakes and purposes, we'll just say that we had the Whiptail. You could Tinky into Whiptail also if you had Tinky. But like I said, if you have Tinky, then it's just better to get Rat because that generates an extra draw out of the situation. But so, these are in your hand. You're going to start your play by Special Summoning Terra Top. And you're going to get Taka Tomborg out of your deck and Special Summon it. And then you're going to overlay these two cards into your MX Saber Invoker. You know, the standard shenanigans. MX Saber Invoker, detach your Taka Tomborg, and you're going to Special Summon your Rat from deck. Now... At this point, if you had Rat or Tinky, and you used Tinky to add Rat, you would just summon Thoroughblade from your deck and discard the Rat, and draw an extra card first, and then you'd be able to go Tiger Mortar to get the Rat back. But in this instance, we have Whiptail in hand, so we're just getting Rat from deck. Now, with this Rat, you're just going to go straight into Broad Bull. Now, the reason we're doing this is because you're going to use the Whiptail's effect to put itself under the Broad Bull. Now, why you're doing this is because the important thing is that you need to get a level 4 monster in your graveyard that is not Rat Pierre. For this combo to work, you need to get though that specifically into grave. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the whip tail under the broad bull, and then you're gonna detach the whip tail to special summon rat pier from your deck with the rat pier effect, and then you're gonna detach the rat pier from the broad bull itself to add the lunalite black sheep to hand, which you are then going to discard to add the fusion substitute, the first fusion sub. Now from here, you're gonna activate instant fusion, and this is why it's important that you get uh, that you get a level four that's not rat in grave because all of this instant fusion shenanigans that's about to happen really would tie up that rat and prevent this combo from being possible. So you instant fusion for Norden and you Norden back that whip tail that you just attached off of your broad bull. Now you're going to overlay the whip tail and the, uh, and, the, uh, and the Norden that you just summoned for your first Digusto Emerald. And off of this Digusto Emerald you're going to attach Norden and you're going to shuffle back Norden, Rat, and Black Sheep into your deck. So you're going to shuffle these back, Norden goes back into your extra deck and then you're going to draw your first random card. And so now, from here, the Fusion Substitute is live. So you're going to use Fusion Sub, and you're going to fuse away the Emerald and the Broad Bull. I'm going to fuse away these two cards into that Elder Entity Norden that you just shuffled back off the Emerald. And then this Norden is going to, again, bring back that Whiptail, or whatever that level 4 in your graveyard was. So you're just going to bring it back onto your board, and it's going to sit there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to overlay the Norden and the Rat Pier here into Broad Bull number 2. And what you're going to use this one for is you're going to do the exact same thing with the first that you did. You're going to detach both materials to add Black Sheep and then Special Rat Pier from deck. And then you're going to discard with the Black Sheep, that Fusion Sub is supposed to be engraved, to add the second Fusion Sub to your hand. I just kind of left that Fusion Sub sitting there because it's continuous, right? <laughs> but no, there's a Fusion Sub in your grave. And so after you detach off the Broad Bull to get your Norden Grave and Special the Rat out of deck, you're going to use the Fusion Sub and Grave effect to banish it to shuffle back your Norden and then you are going to draw your second card. Now from here, what you have the capability of doing is you overlay the Whiptail and the Rat Pier that you summoned out of your deck into Digusto Emerald number two. 
Uh, so we're just cycling cards here. And you're going to detach the wrap here, which so you leave that level 4 monster under the under the emerald, and that's where it's going to stay for the rest of this combo, so that's why it's important. And you're going to shuffle back one rat, you leave the other one in grave. You don't care about black sheep because you're out of uh, out of fusion sub targets. You're going to put back a broad bull and you're going to put back the emerald so that you have a good resource pool set up for your stuff. But so you're going to put that back and then you're going to draw your third random card. Now from here, you're going to use fusion substitute and you're going to fuse with the broad bull that you used and the invoker that's left on the field. And what you're going to do is you're going to summon your elder entity Norden. And so this goes to grave, your fusion sub and your Norden is going to bring back the rat peer that you left in your graveyard. And what you're going to do now is that you're going to overlay that into just any of the random Zooxes that you haven't used. We haven't used Borbo yet in this combo, but if you had already used Borbo for some reason, you can make Tiger Mortar or Hammer Kong. Just one of those, as long as it's not Chocanine or Dryden. That's all that matters. Uh, but so you detach your rat peer to special summon your other rat peer from deck. And now from here, you can overlay your Norden and your rat peer into King of the Feralimps so that we can get our search for our tuner to make the Naturia Beast. So you're going to attach the Norden specifically, and you're going to search for X-Saber Palumaru. Now from here, we're not searching any more out of our deck. Uh, so we can use the Fusion Substitute and Grave to banish to put the Norden back. We, we waited until this specific point because we wanted to get all the cards we were searching out of our deck first, and now we're, we're at a good point. Like, you want to do that with your combos. You want to you wanna do the Fusion Sub banishing to put the Norden back, after you've searched the combo piece you're doing for your next step so you don't risk drawing it and then having to adjust on the fly. But so you have Palomaru in your hand, you've drawn four cards, and you haven't normal summoned yet, but where's our synchro material for the Naturia Beast, man? Where's that card? Here it comes. Use Chaka 9. So you put Chaka 9 on top of the Borbo, and you detach, and you use it to special summon that Rat Pier from Grave that is left in there. So you special the Rat Pier, and then you normal summon this X-Saber Palomaru because all of this has been done with no normal summon. And you normal summon this, and then you synchro away these two into your Naturia Beast. So now you've got Naturia Beast, Emerald, King of the Feralimps, and Chaka 9. And then you can slap as many monsters as you want as far as like Hammer Kong, like Tiger Mortar, or whatever you haven't used. If you want to empty your extra deck under the Dryden to give extra stuff. But basically you put Dryden on top of Chaka 9 in some way, and you end... Off of those three cards, you end with eight cards, four of them being fresh drawn, and you end with Naturia Beast, Zodiac Dryden, King of the Feralimps, and Digesto Emerald. And then based off whatever those cards were that you drew, they can obviously protect your situation. Now again, this is a resource-intensive combo because you end with all of your rats out of your deck, uh, you end with your Invoker out, your Borbo out, um, that, but it does reset a good bit of your resources and it does dig you into your deck. Again, it's constitutable as an auto-win if your opponent can't out the Naturia Beast with something like a Kaiju. Um, because Dryden is going to protect it from any monster related threat, your back row can protect it, all that sort of stuff. As long as they don't kaiju, board wipe you, I'm pretty sure this counts as an auto win because you use three cards to generate eight, and then you still have two other cards left in your hand to go alongside these four, stuff like that. But I'm going to do a quick reset real quick and show you how this is done, uh, how you start the combo at least with Thoroughblade, just for those people that need a visual representation. All right, and we're back. And so, like I said, Terra Top Instant Fusion, but this time, instead of having Barrage or Whiptail, you have either Rat Pier or Tanky in your hand. If you have Tanky, obviously you Tanky for the Rat Pier. But so, assuming we have the Rat Pier or Tanky in hand, this is how you're going to do this play. I'm going to try and rush through it this time. But you special Terra Top, and you use Terra Top to get your Taka Tomborg, and you special your Taka Tomborg, and then you overlay into MX Saber Invoker, and use Invoker, detaching the Taka Tomborg. This time, since you have Rat in hand, you're going to special summon Zodiac Thoroughblade. Third blade, you're going to detach the rat. You're going to discard the rat here, not detach, and then draw a card. So at this point, you've gotten the additional level four that you're looking for that you need in grave uh, without having to like use a card out of hand for Whiptail, and you got the rat into circulation out of your hand. So from here, instead of doing the broad bull play and equipping the uh, the Whiptail from hand to it, you're just going to go into Tiger Mortar, detaching the third blade to rotate the rat underneath it, and then you're going to detach the rat from there to special summon rat from deck, and then you're going to put your broad bull. On top of Tiger Mortar, detaching to search for the Lunalite Black Sheep, and then Black Sheep is going to be discarded to search for Fusion Substitute. And now from here, you're going to activate your Instant Fusion, fusing into your Norden, and then your Norden is going to bring back that Thoroughblade, because it's the other level 4 in your graveyard that's usable. And then you're going to overlay with the Thoroughblade and the Norden into Digesto Emerald number 1, detaching the Norden to shuffle back the Norden, the Lunalite, and the rat pier to your deck to draw a card and putting this back in the extra draw a card 
And now from here, you'll be able to fusion sub away the Emerald and the Broad Bowl. Like I said, I'm going to try and do this really fast, just so that it's a bit better for the video length and just so you guys get the big picture. But so you fusion sub the Broad Bowl and the Emerald way into Norden, you bring back the Third Blade yet again. You've got Rap here in deck, so what you're going to do is going to overlay the Broad Bowl, or not the Broad Bowl, the uh, Norden and the Rap here into the secondary Broad Bowl, detaching both materials, the Rap here and the Norden. And you're going to search for Rat Pier and, uh, and Luna Light Black Sheep. So you're special to Rat, Luna Light Black Sheep, discard the Black Sheep to add the second copy of Fusion Sub. And now since the Fusion Sub is out of the deck, you banish the Fusion Sub Engrave to shuffle Norden back into your extra deck to draw a random card. And now from here, you're going to overlay the Rat Pier and the Thurblade Blade that you have chilling into the Digesto Emerald. You're going to detach the Rat Pier again. And this time you are going to put back Digesto Emerald Broad Bull and one of the Rat Piers, leaving a Rat Pier in Graveyard to be used off of your next Fusion Sub play. So one Rat Pier goes back into your deck, your Broad Bull and your Emerald go back to the extra deck, and then you draw another random card. And then from here, you're going to Fusion Substitute away the Invoker and uh, the Broad Bull into your Norden yet again. And your Norden, if I can get it out of the extra deck, because for some reason it got shuffled into a weird spot that I wasn't expecting off of your Norden, <laughs> you're going to special summon your Rap here. And then off of this instance, since we've already used Tiger Mortar, again, we haven't used Broad Bull or Borbo, excuse me. Uh, so you're going to detach off the Borbo to special summon the Rap here from deck. You're going to overlay these two into your King of the Feralimps. King of the Feralimps is going to detach the Norden, and you're going to add the Xsaber Palomaru to your hand. And then from here, again, all of the cards that you were trying to, like, search have vacated the deck for this instance. So you're going to Fusion Sub, Banish from Grave to put Norden back into your deck. You're going to draw your fifth card. And then you're going to put Chaka 9 on top of your Borbo. And you're going to detach off the Chaka 9 to bring back the Rap here that's chilling in your graveyard. Again, you haven't used, utilized your uh, Normal Summon yet, so you're going to Normal Summon the Palomaru. And then you are going to Synchro these away into your Naturia Beast, and then slap as many things on top of this Chaka 9 as you want until you get into a Dryden. So, like I said, if you open Rat or Tanky, the combo is a bit better. And it's, as far as a hypothetical goes, a very, like, a three-card combo. Every single card in it is a three of in your deck, in theory. Uh, and then you have things like Rat, Tanky, Barrage, Whiptail, where those are, like, more than three ofs. So, I mean, like, as far as, like, a multitude, like, hypothetical uh, with multiple variables, it's actually really, like, reasonable. Uh, and like I said, you end up with that, uh, like, you, the, where the Whiptail was last time, you end up with a Thoroughblade under the Emerald instead. Uh, but this time you drew five cards because you got to rotate a card out of your hand off Thoroughblade. So it becomes a plus six instead of a plus five. <laughs> so you end up with a lot of cards in terms of card advantage and stuff like that. You end up with, again, what I'd constitute as an auto win with Naturia Beast plus Dryden't. Your opponent has to answer this through whatever cards you drew, or else you're just going to use Emerald to reset your resources next turn in the form of putting your rats and stuff back to generating, to like generate another draw. Uh, because, like I said, this is kind of a risky play because you end with all of your rats out of deck, but at the same time, your other instant fusions in deck that you could have drawn during any of these five cards are live, all that sort of stuff. But you do draw an additional card, so you can also have things like Whiptails and stuff in hand to support the Dryden't. There's lots of good little interactions that this has as far as what it allows you to do. But So like I said, you can open Whiptail Barrage and draw four cards, or you can open Tinky or Rat, searching Rat with the Tinky, and draw five cards and circulate Thoroughblade out of your deck and maintain all of your Whiptails. So like, there's a lot of good things that this combo allows you to do. This is one of the more extensive ones, and it's definitely, like I said, what I would constitute as an auto win, because they have to out Naturia Beast with something that's not spells, so they have to be like Dryden't. Um, they have to summon like their own Dryden't, which you're not going to let them do with either your back row or your Dryden't to protect. Or they have to Kaiju over this, and even if they Kaiju over this, they have to follow it up with a board wipe, or else they're still dealing with Dryden't. Uh, still have to clear the Emerald, stuff to deal with your back row, all that sort of stuff. It's just such an it's immense in terms of what your opponent has to deal with as far as cards. And it's just a simple three card combo. Well, I wouldn't say simple, but it's a very easy to access three card combo because, I mean, Terra Top, Instant Fusion, those are three ofs in your deck in theory. And like I said, you've got five rats as far as three tanky two rat and then you've got three barrage three whiptail or two whiptail so you've got five to six of those uh, so you're always going to be able to draw at least four cards and then you could draw five so anyway that's it for this video showing you these two combos 
There's another combo I'm going to be showing you in another video. I just don't know when I'm going to, have to be filming it because I'm going to be busy going to YCS Pittsburgh and all that sort of stuff. So definitely check that out when it comes out and all that sort of stuff. But like I said at the beginning of this video, if you have a cool like one or two card combo for an interesting deck, then definitely email the combo to me at my email address that is in the description. And I would definitely love to make a video on it and also credit you as the combo uh, provider to me. Whether or not you created it is fine. I don't really care, uh, but I will definitely credit you as someone that has sent it to me. So there's that. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts on this combo are in the comments down below. As always, links are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly and help some pipe dreams I got for this channel come into, into uh, fruition a bit sooner than they might do at their own time, then definitely check out the Patreon page. And if you're wanting to get into my private Discord server where me and some other people just shoot the shit on a daily basis and play games and stuff, or if you want to get in on a monthly giveaway at the end of each month for some Yu-Gi-Oh product, then definitely check out the reward tiers over there and see if there's anything there that interests you. But other than that, if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards, then definitely check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with thus far. In fact, all the Zodiac cards that you see in this video were directly supplied to me by them for video making and playing purposes, so they've already been supporting the channel and me as a person, as a player, a ton, and that's a huge thing. So if you want to continue to have them support me and, and you want to indirectly feel like you're supporting me through them by proxy, then definitely go check out their site that is linked in the description, as I've already said, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, this has been a long video because I've done this incredibly long sequence combo twice. Sorry about that, but if you made it this far, then, <laughs> then give us a hashtag combo crazy in the comments down below. My voice is starting to crackle and go out. Oh no. But like I said, hashtag combo crazy if you made it this far in the comments down below to let me know that you made it all the way to the end and watched all of these but damn it man ban norton please but anyway as always like i've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual let me know your thoughts again in the comments down below and take care guys i will see you in the next video